will say, Keith, the sun is most welcome on a day like this when you really feel the chill in the morning air. Yeah, it makes a it makes a big difference. And I know like that seasonal thing is, is you know, real for a lot of Mainers. Mm -hmm. For me, I feel like November is a month that I don't enjoy for that reason because it starts to crunch on you, you know. Even the word just sounds gray. Yeah, <laughs> it does. I mean, it's that Guns N' Roses song that I have stuck <laughs> in my head, I think. <laughs> Temperatures this morning, chilly. Look at Freiburg, 34, 41 in Portland. I mentioned last night I thought we could get to the 30s even along the coastline. Not quite, but 40 in Wiscasset, 46 in Bangor. We have recovered, especially along the coast, with a lot of sun to start the day. But you can see the current picture has clouds encroaching to the coastline, especially down east Maine and uh, coming down from the mountains as well. Showers have been prevalent to the north of Bangor, a few heavier ones out there too. Most likely we've got the possibility of some small hail in these again, like we did yesterday, where the atmosphere is gonna allow for hail to be formed very easily because it's cold just a bit aloft. But those cut off at Bangor south of there were dry. And uh, just to give you an idea of, of the variance here, Kennebunkport sitting at 62 degrees, a beautiful day with just some puffy fair weather clouds. All right, and we're gonna get a, <laughs> we're gonna get a third of a look at Bangor at 55 degrees and uh, overcast with some scattered showers out there. So the showers will stay mainly north of Bangor. A few will break off though into the mountains later this afternoon. Uh, Rangeley, for example, is a spot Kingfield, Carabasset Valley into uh, perhaps Bethel. After that, we end up uh, partly cloudy along the coastline. Temperatures tonight drop down into the 40s for a lot of us. I think it'll be warmer than it was last night. I don't anticipate we see as many 30s. That's because of the cloud cover that will help insulate us. Now tomorrow the issue is this warm front. It's right here and it will be close enough to us over western and southwestern Maine during the afternoon to see a chance for a shower. N notice there aren't that many of them here in this model and that's the case with most of our models but I think there's enough that we had to put the chance of a shower in. Now reverse of today if you get north of Bangor I don't think we're going to see any showers tomorrow. I think it stays dry. Better chance of showers is south especially from Berlin to Lewiston to Wiscasset kind of in that line right there and down into Portland during the afternoon. That front settles here on Sunday and kind of stays over us. So once again, I think the farther north you go on Sunday, the, the more sun you'll see, the, the drier it will be. But there will be a chance for a shower over the southern third or so of the state through the day on Sunday as that front lingers around and temperatures stay in the 50s to around 60 degrees. So we weren't able to push that front through. I was hoping we could because we had a lot of upside potential south of that front in the warm sector, but it ain't going to happen. The front is going to be over us or to the south of us and then eventually bring us some rain on Monday and Tuesday morning as it moves through and then high pressure builds in for the middle part of the week, which looks pretty promising at this point, middle part of the week into uh, late next week at least, if not the weekend. So yeah, this is, you know, some of my favorite pattern. Um, I don't think the weekend is bad. It's better than it looks on this seven day, let's put it that way. But the, there is some instability around and chances of showers in there. Turns into more legitimate rain over Southern Maine on Monday into Monday night and Tuesday. It could be quite heavy. I'd say uh, basically probably from Rockland South is your chance of heavy rain there Monday into Tuesday. Clearing and mild on Wednesday and then mostly sunny on Thursday. A high around 70 degrees or so. Interesting, Pat, today I saw Sunny River posted their snow guns fired up, which they like to, it's like a hype thing that they like to do. But uh, I, I said to them, glances at seven day, see 70 <laughs> in the forecast. <laughs> well, they got the message out though, they that's did. what counts.